Okay, for this first one, we're given the complex number negative 1 plus i. So we're told that z equals negative 1 plus i. And here, a is negative 1 and b is 1. What we want to use is the fact that, and we'll go back up here, the magnitude is, I'll change the color, the square root of a squared plus b squared. And our argument, which is the angle theta, is tan inverse of b over a. Well, let's go ahead and figure out then the magnitude and the argument. For the magnitude, we have the magnitude equals the square root of a squared plus b squared, which is going to equal the square root of negative 1 squared plus 1 squared, which equals the square root of 2. Our magnitude equals 2. Or, I'm sorry, the square root of 2. Next, we're going to determine the argument. We find the argument by taking the tan inverse of b over a. Here, b is 1, a is negative 1. So we're finding the tan inverse of 1 over negative 1. On your unit circle, and let's take a moment and look at this. When sine and cosine have the same numeric value, that creates a tangent of sine, or I'm sorry, a tangent of positive or negative 1. Because remember, a tangent is sine over cosine. So for the ones I've highlighted in yellow, tangent of pi over 4 is a positive 1 over positive 1. Tangent of 3 pi over 4 is a, let's see, sine is positive here, so it's a positive 1 over a negative 1. And tangent of 5 pi fourths is negative 1 over negative 1. And tangent of 7 pi fourths is pos negative 1, sorry, our sign is negative, negative 1 over 1. I go back to my page. I'm looking for tangent inverse of 1 over negative 1. That happens down here at 5 pi fourths. That's not where it happens. It happens up here at 3 pi fourths. I get positive 1 over negative 1. That's the ratio, which means my angle, my argument for theta is that theta equals 3 pi fourths. Once I have the magnitude and once I have the argument, I can simply plug them in to this equation. So my final equation is going to be that z equals the magnitude times the cosine of the argument plus i times the sine of the argument, which means z equals the square root of 2 times cosine of 3 pi fourths plus i times sine of 3 pi fourths. And that is your final answer for part A. Before you go on to part B, I do want to take a moment and look at your unit circle again. You should probably go around at this point and mark the tangents of these values. So tangent of pi over 6 is sine over cosine. When you multiply or divide those out, you end up with a positive 1 over root 3. Tangent of pi over 3. Sine over cosine, you end up with a positive root 3 over 1. These numbers are going to become increasingly important in this section, especially for those of you who are in honors pre-calc. So please, please, please go around and mark these for all your angles.